The 3D Printing Nerd World Tour comes to beautiful, sunny Irvine, California, and we're here at Raise 3D. They've got some cool stuff going on behind the scenes, and I'm told they offer a very unique experience for their users. So let's go inside, let's take a look, and let's do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Hey Joel, welcome to Race 3D. Patrick, it's really nice good to, to finally, finally meet, meet you, man. You as well. This By is the crazy. way, you're taller in person. I've heard that from a couple people. Uh, you look about what I expected. Well, what do you think? I mean, it's a beautiful building we have. This is amazing. Uh, I'm really glad I got to come down here because I, I've heard that the location was cool, but man, just the the view from outside was wonderful. Coming up those brilliant stairs. That was pretty cool as well. Well, you know, Raise 3D is a global company, but this is our US headquarters. We're very proud of it. I, I'd like to show you around and, and give you kind of an idea of the people behind our company. Well, I did hear that there was something unique here, a way for you to interface with customers yeah, and our, potential our, users. Our demo room, and, and we love it. We launched that this year. We call it the demo room, but it's so much more. Come on, let me show you. I'd love to see it. That's hey, someone I'd like you to meet. This is Joel Telly. Oh. Hey, Joel. Hey, Nick. He's also known as the 3D printing nerd. I do a little here I'm and there. Heard about you. Next one of our <laughs> engineers here, and I think he's going to be able to give you all kinds of great information, tell you what goes on in this room. And I'm going to leave you in his capable hands. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate it. See you it. in a little bit. What Nick, know? this looks cool. Uh, I see lights and a camera. Mm -hmm. And this looks, so is this a... Okay, this is a 3D printer manufacturer. This is a studio, isn't it? Yeah, this is a studio. Why is there a studio in here? So we have this studio for live demos. If someone wants to see the machine oh. up close or if they want technical support live, they can go ahead and give us a call and we'll set up a video call and we can do a screen share. I can go over repairs on the machine right in front of them. Really? Oh, I see. So then if someone is somewhere where a machine might may not be close. I mean, there's I'm, there's no showrooms around the world. No, but we'll bring the showroom right to you. That's really cool. So, okay, the machine's way back here, mm. but people on the machine or on the conference here, they can see things. You can bring it up close and yeah. they can get detailed looks. So I can actually go ahead and pull ah. the machine right up to the camera. Look at that! And then we can get a really good view right in here. So okay. if I'm moving bolts or anything else, they can see all of that. Oh, so not just a demo, but if someone has an issue or they just want to talk about uh, a repair they might need to make or something like that, you can lead them through that as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, oftentimes I'll show people how to replace nozzles, how to remove the extruder assembly and remove jams. Anything you want to work on, I can show you one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Oh, that's cool. Wow, and it's just a video conference right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it looks like you've got some sh prints going back here. Wait, we can push it. Yeah. yeah, there we go. There we go. Just like that. This is fun. Okay, and then obviously you have a yeah, so I've got all of our prints here. I show these during demos. <laughs> Chain's my favorite. This is uh, probably the most satisfying print I've ever seen. Look They're really this. good. They're oh really good. I could get a whole suit of these, but I think it'd take a really long time to print. It'd weigh a little bit too. Oh, yeah. I guess these are important though, because this isn't just like you said, showing repairs or tips or tricks. This mm -hmm. is potential customers. Of course. And so they want to see what you're able to make. Yeah. So everything we've got here, we've got our chain, I've got some flexibles, our PVA prints, and then our full volumes for the Plus and the Pro. How many questions do you get on people with filaments? I've always been curious about that. I get oh, so many questions from people with filaments. So we have people with aerospace who need really strong parts, so we usually recommend Nylon X. I use people who have uh, the PVA specifically for that, for really in-depth prints. We go over all kinds of materials and basically we tailor it specifically to what they would want to use the machine for. Well, I think I've talked about the open filament program before, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so all of those materials, then you're able to give detailed explanations as to why they may or may not want to use it for their application. Yeah. So we do a breakdown of the open filament program. We explain how we test them in our lab and we optimize those settings so that way you don't have to do all the work to get a new filament going. Oh, you test them in the lab. Can mm -hmm. I see that? Yeah, of course. You want to head over? Yeah, please. All right. Lab sweet lab, Joel. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. This is like, this is a sea of machines. Oh yeah. This is really cool. So this is the lab. This is where what happens? This is quality control? Yeah, quality control and R&D. So whenever we work oh. with a filament in the open filament program, we send it here to be tested over and over and over <laughs> and over again. Ah. 
and over and over and over and over. This and is over fantastic. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of machines. I, I have a QA background and it's really great to see that there's so much empowerment behind the quality control process. It's not just one machine of each type in a corner to verify something. I mean, there's there's a lot of machines here, Nick. Yeah, yeah. So these are running constantly. Uh, we run them through as many tests as we can until we're 100% sure that that filament's gonna work before it goes up on the open filament program. This is really cool. So mm -hmm. obviously this is just verifying a filament works and this looks like it's with dissolvable support. Yep. Print quality looks good. So I would imagine these are part of uh, a, a passing test. Yeah, I think those are all gonna pass and make it through. Okay. Um, but you know, we do a couple filaments, sometimes they don't make it, but you know, we work through as many as we can. So but on quality control too, then you might be able to experiment in this area a little bit or try to find settings that work better than others, or is that what's going on? Well, I can't speak too much about what goes on in R&D. Being an engineer, I actually work more in the tech room where we do our technical support over the phone. Wait, there's a tech room? Yeah, there's a tech room. Uh, you wanna go see that too? I'd love to see it. All right, let's go. Hi, lab. Hey, guys. So when I'm not in the demo room, this is where I work. Oh, this is where you are, yeah. the tech room. This is that right? Tech support, right here. Tech support, okay. I have a tech support background, and I remember being on the phones. Is that similar here? Yeah, that's actually exactly what we do. So if you want to go ahead and give us a call, you can actually call us uh, early hours. So we do 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. California time. Really? Mm -hmm. 6 o'clock in the morning? Yep. I'm usually asleep or just going to bed. I am the only person here at that time. <laughs> Wait a minute, you? It's me. Okay, so if someone calls Ray's 3D tech support at 6 o'clock in the morning, they're gonna get you. Yep, it'll be, hi, this is Nick from Race Tech Support. How can I help you? Every I'm time. I'm gonna test that one day. Looking forward to it. So tech support, we're taught, and I see a bunch of machines in here as well. Mm. So this is, you get a call, you try to replicate any issues the customer may talk about. You try to make sure if they, what are saying is valid or not. Mm. And then if it requires further response, then you can send it on, right? Yeah. So sometimes if people were working with some settings changes or they want to do something more specific, we'll actually have them send us that G code and we can send it here. It's pretty rare, but we can do it sometimes. We have machines to spare. Usually we're actually tuning up the show machines that we take out. Oh, I see. I guess those travel the world, so they're going to have to come back yeah, and get they some go TLC, right? Yeah, all over and they need to come back to be cared for. Well, this is cool because we've seen live demo in the studio. We've seen quality control and R&D, and now we've seen the room of tech where we do the well, where you do the tech support. Yep. The only thing left really is to find out how all of these wonderful machines get to customers' hands. How does that happen? We ship them right out of our warehouse. Right here? Right here. Can we go see it? You wanna go see it? I do. Let's go. Come on. To the warehouse. Hey, Joel, wait a second. Oh, what's that? I want you to meet Chad. How's it oh. going, Joel? Hey, Chad. Nice to meet you. When Good that meet bubble you. pops up on the website, he's the one you're talking to. <laughs> That's awesome. Chad sounds like a rad person. Chad's the best. Bye, Chad. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Hey, Joel. Guys, I think I heard a phone call. Bye, Joel. See you, Nick. Hey, Joel. So hey. did you get a chance to see and meet everybody? I got to meet a lot of people here and really see kind of the process behind everything. It's really incredible what goes on here. A lot of printers, huh? There's a lot of printers here. There is a lot of machines here. Well, you got to remember, you know, we we have to serve the entire United States and we serve it right out of this, this warehouse here. I'm so. looking at machines that are gonna get shipped out across the US. Someplace in here is the next owner's machine ready to go. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've got such a great staff and I think, I'm really glad you came by today. And, I, and, I, and I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. You know, a lot of people, you go online, you call on the phone, uh, you know, you don't realize that there's actual people behind all of this. It takes a lot of people and a lot of work to not only build printers, but to deliver them and service them and make sure that people can get the, the, the maximum capability from their, from their uh, 3D printer. And so to come down here and get to see, wow, when I call in, that's who I talk to. You know, when I, when I need to ask a question about service, ah, there's the guy I talk to. When I'm chatting online, there's the guy I talk to. And you know, a lot of people don't know that they have all this capability to come in, you know, to call and get service and get taken care of here. I think that's the amazing part about this is seeing the people that make it happen, meeting Nick, meeting Chad, talking to the teams. I mean, it's incredible. This is a lot of fun. Thank you, Patrick, oh, I really so appreciate it. So glad that you did that, that's awesome. You know, we've reached the end and I just, personally, this was amazing because I got to meet the people behind the process. It was great to meet Chad, 
It was great to give Nick a lift. I got to see where demos were done, QC, R&D, the tech support room. It was all wonderful. A big thanks to everybody at Raise 3 d that let me invade their space. That was really kind of them. But a big thanks to you for watching this episode because if you made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. As always, high five. My car, it's, uh, it's right over there. It's right over there.